Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Joyner Lucas and Karen Civil, man. Now, there is a story that's building, and I should say it's already built, man. It's probably one of the biggest stories in hip-hop right now, besides the whole spot him, got him, and Wiz the Wizard situation, right? Now, you have an artist by the name of Joyner Lucas, and dude is blazing hot on that mic. Jordan Lucas is a nice MC, man. He's collaborated with Eminem, all sorts of folks, man. Dude is at the top of the hip-hop game. You know, he's kind of picking his moves as he goes along. And, you know, while he's doing that, he's, he's racking up wins along the way. Well, it looks like on the way up, he was burned by Karen Civil, according to him. Allegedly, we should say. Now, Jordan Lucas obviously has been sitting on this for a while because according to his own admission, this happened when he had only like 5,000 followers. At today's present time, he has like 2 million followers just on Instagram alone, right? And you know, he's, he's hot in the game. But when he wasn't hot, he alleges that Karen Civil took advantage of him being green. You know what I mean? Took advantage of the fact that he didn't know any better. Now, a lot of people are talking about this, and this has raised a lot of different questions about the hip-hop game and managers and business, and it's been interesting, to say the least, to listen to all the people and their takes on this situation. But I want to reference a story from allhiphop.com and another story that we're going to talk about as well, where Cameron has said something about this situation, or at least about Karen Civil in the past, and he was silenced. And then you also had somebody by the name of Jason Lee say something about Karen Civil. And it seems like it's all coming to an ugly head. Now, before we get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about this whole Karen Civil, Joyner Lucas situation. And man, if this didn't if this didn't open up a lot of people's eyes about Karen Civil or at least some of the things going on in the background, not saying that everything here is true, right? Because this is one person's account. But I want to go first to this story from Bro Bible. Now, this story from BroBible.com, it says this in the headline. It says, rapper Joyner Lucas puts Karen Civil on blast and accuses her of stealing 60K from him. So basically... He's saying that Karen Civil got him for the $60,000 bag on his way up. Like, what kind of budget did he have on his way up, man? I know artists be starving, man, and they be out until they last, but sixty k that's a lot of money. All right, so the story goes on to say this. This is where it starts. It says, rapper Joyner Lucas has a bone to pick with self-proclaimed digital marketing strategist, Karen Civil. On Saturday afternoon, Lucas went on a rant accusing a Civil of stealing $60,000 from him when he hired her six years ago to help with his marketing efforts, but instead took the money and stopped responding to his messages. Now, this thing went wild, man. It went all over social media, and there was a group that was called the Crenshaw District, and a lot of people in this group started to build. You had WAC 100 in there. At one point, you had DJ Academics. You had Joe Budden. You had all these big wigs in hip-hop media, right? And they're talking about the situation from different standpoints. You have artists talking about it. You have, I'm talking about some of the biggest people, uh, Punch from TDE was in there. And the list of people in that group started growing and growing until the room just, you know, they had to have an overflow room and an overflow room for that overflow room. So, man, it was a lot of people talking about this. And you got perspectives from different parts of the hip hop game and the music game, man. You have seasoned managers, you have media people, and everybody was under the same impression from my take that, man, this was all bad business, you know? That definitely Joyner Lucas in this situation could have did better about maintaining his bag and, you know, securing the bag and making sure they don't get played. But there was an element of somebody trying to do him dirty, you know, it seemed like. Now, nobody can prove that, but that's what it seemed like at the time being. Now, the story goes on to show some of the posts by Joyner Lucas that really started this whole big discussion online, man. I'm talking about there were different fan pages talking about this. I mean, this is one of the biggest stories. I'll say that much, man. And it was interesting to hear everybody's perspective, you know. And I was like, wow, because, you know, even Karen Civil came into the room and said her piece and basically tried to say her part, but it just, I don't know, man. It didn't go over with a lot of the, the recipients well. Now, the story continues by saying this, man. It, they posted basically all of the posts that Jordan Lucas made today. 
Now, the first one that they have here, you have where Jordan Lucas posted this message and just talked to Karen Civil specifically. Now, the funny part about this is this was six years ago. So you have no, if this is true, you have no idea of if she even knew or thought that he would ever make it to be this big in the game. And he touches on that. And he says this, he says, my son was on the way and you stole 60K from me before I got in the game at Karen Civil. I hired you as a consultant and below attached was the memo you sent me. I was desperate for help and you knew that. After you was paid, you went ghost and didn't expect me to pop off. Uh, demon emoji, here I am. So saying, oh, you, you basically, you thought that you were going to play me for my money and you know you wouldn't see me again, but now I'm in the game and I'm big. You know what I mean? So now I have a platform. It's time to show some receipts. And here you can see he's showing the receipts. He's basically showing some marketing and branding management type deal. It has their names or whatever of some LLC. And then you have Karen Civil there. And you see this is from April 2015. So he's bringing receipts out for real, man. Now he also posted this. It says, after you got the money paid up front, you stopped answering my calls. And every time I hit you, you answered the phone with the attitude like I was messing up your day. I sent you mad messages pleading with you to do your job because my back was against the wall. You took advantage. So basically saying that he felt like he got played in this situation. And I think everybody was under that same understanding. Like everybody said that, you know, Jordan Lucas, he ended up getting finessed in this situation if all this is true. You know what I mean? So allegedly he got finessed. Now his next post, he said this. He said, at this time, I was afraid to speak up for myself because I didn't want to get blackballed. I had no idea how the industry works and I ain't want you to drag my name through the mud. So out of fear, I stayed quiet until at Cameron spoke up a few years ago on Twitter. Then I did. Now, for those of you who need a refresher, Cameron said something about Karen civil back in like 2016. I want to say it was, it was like back in 2016 and basically talked about his dealings with her and, you know, he he basically called her a thief and all this stuff. Or no, not even a thief. I believe he allegedly called her a liar and stuff like that, right? And to be real, Jordan Lucas seems like he gained some of his strength in order to come out and talk about this situation from that interaction. And now Cameron is on social media right now just posting on his, on his page, gloating about the situation. Like, you know, kind of from a standpoint like, yo... Told y'all, you know what I mean? Told y'all, I had my own issues and y'all wasn't hearing it. Now, Jordan Lucas also posted this. He posted a post that said, after I spoke up, you had your peoples hit me directly. You tried to threaten me and then tried to make me write this fake apology and make myself look crazy to the public eye. See below, attached at Karen Civil, text back in 2018 to my business partner, shaking my head. And here, it looks like he's showing more receipts. If you look at this, it has my tweets may have caused it wasn't my intention to attack her in integrity. I simply got carried away and it was a misunderstanding. So basically, they wanted him to apologize for getting done dirty, man. Now, the music industry is a beast. And I think WAC 100 and a lot of people were saying that. Like, you got to really be careful of who you're dealing with on your way up. But it looks like if you break down this conversation... It seems like everything that Joyner Lucas is saying is facts. You know what I mean? Now, I think this is the final post. No, it's not. He actually said this on the next post. He said, shaking my head, I was broke and down on my last leg, bruh. That 60K was literally my last effort to help me get on. And you stole that from me when my son was born. The media protects you, but wrong is wrong. At this time, I had 5,000 followers. What you thought I wasn't going to pop at Karen Civil. Now, this time, he showed a picture of her blocking him. Like, so that way he couldn't message her anymore in the public eye. So that way she doesn't have to, have to respond or anything because he's blocked. She won't even see it. Now, in his following post, man, he makes, a, he, he, makes some, uh, he makes some claims about a song that he was working on and that she had a reply about that. You know, that's not too favorable. I'm not even going to read that one. But this next post, it says this, man. It says... These blogs and publications try to protect you, but I don't give a you-know-what about none of that. And he added everybody in, in media, you know, most of the major platforms. He's got Hot New Hip Hop, The Shade Room, Hip Hop DX, and all that, right? He said, I'm going to keep dragging you until you give me my 60K back, too. Funny. So, 
I, I'd like to say he's petty, but obviously he's not petty. He wants his 60K back and he feels like he has a case for it. Now in this final post, he said, I've been waiting like seven years to do this. I kept telling myself, watch when you get on. She messed up. These days, I'm too rich and well off. My fam is good. Couple mansions paid for and all the dream cars you can think of. Owner of a 30M company at, at Truly. I can keep going at Karen Silva. So basically saying that, hey, man, he blew up. He did his thing, but he still wanted 60K, man. <laughs> he got the mansions. He got the cars. That doesn't matter. It's about the principle. So what's crazy is, man, a lot of people took this and ran with it and started many discussions that are probably needed in the hip hop space. You know, a lot of people were mentoring like smaller artists and letting them know that, you know, they need to really watch themselves on the way up. Now, in the story, it ends by saying this. It says, uh, Baller Alert, or via Baller Alert, Baller Alert reached out to Karen Sybil, and she provided us with this statement. It says, it's easy for him to make broad statements when you aren't familiar with the back end of business, especially marketing. Subcontractors were paid, including Revenel Agency, PR, and local reps, mixed shows, radio, all parties contracted out on his behalf to execute were paid, from the overall budget allotted. When you, he expressed his unhappiness about not getting VIP access to a New York NBA 2K event because he arrived two and a half hours prior to the time he was given, him not being able to reach me the following day during a scheduled personal vacation time caused him to be irate. His management called me to rectify the situation after Joyner made his first tweet claims in which I responded, we can happily move forward after a public apology was made since he used the same platform to lie about funds being taken from him. I recorded the call just for future circumstances like this. Unfortunately, six years later, he's now utilizing a, a separate disagreement moment to amplify and create a social media momentum around himself. He and I both had separate conversations with Charlemagne this morning where he passed on his phone number so we can have a discussion directly. But instead, he took to social. Nothing was stolen or taken from Joyner Lucas. Unfortunately, certain artists are under the impression they have 24-7 access to you. That's not feasible or possible. All work done on his behalf were fulfilled. Subcontractors' invoices were made and sent to MGMT, Sean McDonald of Dead Silent CEO, which my team also kept records for. And then she said, KC. So basically, she put out a statement saying that she has her receipts too and everything was accounted for and that the money was used in order to promote his career in the ways that they had agreed upon. Now, I don't know, man. It seems like Jordan Lucas, do you think he would go in this tirade if that was true? And he's not the only person saying that he got did dirty by Karen Civil, allegedly, right? You had Jason Lee, who owns Hollywood Unlocked. It's a media platform similar to the Shade Room. And, you know, he has access to a lot of rappers and people like that, right? And he actually came out with a story as well. I'm not sure what the resolution in that was or even if there was one. Then you have Cameron, who went on his tirade a few years back and continued to say the same thing. So it looks like, man, there's responsibility on two ends, man, always in these relationships, man. You got to make sure you protect your bag because there are people out there who will come and get your bag. Now, I'm not saying that Karen Civil is one of those people. I'm saying that that's a possibility. And judging on the character of the person you're working with, that could be an easy flaw to make, man, on your way up, especially if it's your last bag and you got all this going on. But, man, it seems like you also got to take accountability if you're the person who's supposed to be providing the service, man, that you provide the service that was paid for. Now, what do you guys think about this? Do you think that Jordan Lucas is just jumping off the deep end on this one and just going at Karen Silva and got everybody trending right now who's involved in the conversation? Or do you think that maybe where there's smoke, there's fire, and we need to look into this some more? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.